So uh, welcome to the uh, new updates on MI and also MI scheduler. And let me share my screen. Yes. So, um, so a new thing in MI uh, is uh, metrics calculation from the repository uh, features. So in MI, we first extract the features from repositories such as pull requests and issues. And uh, then the main goal is to uh, uh, observe the data and based on that, uh, you know, uh, say something about the repository health or uh, or the or health prediction. So, uh, so we, the main focus is now on, on pull requests and issues. So we uh, we've defined some metrics that are based on pull requests and issues, and one of them is uh, is mean is is time to merge a pull request. So uh, you you could see it previously. We've shown the uh, visualizations of that, but the new thing is here. The new thing here is that we actually try to predict what the next time to merge would be for a repository. So you can see this is uh, uh, so uh, the blue dots are uh, time to merge for every pull request. The outliers are removed, so you know uh, it happens that uh, you, you have some pull requests hanging around, but they are not not so important. So we focus only on only on the uh, only only on the um, main data, and uh, you can you can see also the mean time uh, to merge curve. What's that? That's, a, that's essentially just a cumulative median of of the time to merge. So, so uh, in time the median develops based on date uh, based on based on the date w in which the the pull request was created. And uh, then you have the uh, score curve, and that's essentially just fitting a curve on the on the uh, mean time to merge curve. So. Uh, and you can also see uh, the the uh, time to merge score is curve is extended uh, in the future here in the, the in the visualization, and that's just basically predicting what probably the next seven days. This is one week prediction, so probably what the next seven days would be for a repository. Uh, so based on that, you can tell that. Uh, if it's under the median, the median, uh, it's under the curve of the median time to merge. Uh, it's probably a, a good sign, so so that you decrease your median uh, time to merge a pull request. And this is really, uh, this is really, this is is really important for a for a, a metrics because. You've previously had just an observations, and now you can you can basically tell in in let's say for a machine that you know you you're, you're either uh, increasing the health repository or decreasing. It's not just just uh, an empirical look on the data, but this is actually uh, uh, real value data you can plug into some model, etc. So then you can also have a time to approve the request, which is essentially a time from from creating the pull request to to first approval, to first review that that approves the pull request. So the the same applies uh, for this one as the previously, and then you and then we can we we have also time to first review. So. Uh, but but that's one one issue with this. Uh, we probably want to also have a, a sliding window uh, uh, time, sliding window median time of of let's say time to first review or merge or or approve, because uh, essentially this counts all the data. We used median for this because uh, it's better than uh, mean because uh, it's it's not so biased as mean for all the data, but uh, it's not still enough. So we can also have a, a yeah, yeah, uh, 
Yes, uh, besides the pull requests, you can also have time to close an issue matrix. Um, yeah, that's basically the same what it says. And what I was saying is that we we want to have we, we also want to have probably a sliding window medium curve and score. So this is so this may be maybe uh, interesting for both contributors. Uh, the part of the MI project is also to have a uh, inspection over the uh, repositories that Kebashet, uh, that, that over the repositories that use Kebashet. So, and in this is and this in this particular example, uh, I've I've used the sliding window uh, median of the of the this is this is the time to merge a pull request, and yeah, it's, it's, it basically looks like this. The the curve is is not so. Uh, mm, I would say flattened. Uh, no, it, it's more flattened than the previous one because you're just counting for each week. Uh, you're counting the median time of uh, of, of a merge of a pull request. You're not counting all the uh, all the other pull requests in history. So this is a better approach for a prediction in the future because you want to base your prediction on on current time and maybe on the previous month, but not all. Uh, on the all of the repository history, so yeah, uh, unfortunately this lacks the score curve because uh, that was some issue I, I couldn't fix uh, uh, right now. Uh, so I'm sorry for that. You can also see the uh, uh, the area of uh, two times the standard deviation uh, around the median curve, and that's basically where I think the six where 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 the proportion of 68% of the data should be of the median times of per request. So, yes, and this is this is just basically uh, analysis for Kebashet repositories, uh, and I'm currently working on out on which metrics should be used in in case of Kebashet because you you can do a lot of uh, a lot of uh, different derivatives i could say of metrics so you know the basic the basic uh, metric is uh, the fitting curve on the time to merge score for example but you can also do a, a fitting curve on the uh, number of rejected pull requests issued by kebashet and on the number of accepted pull requests issued by the kebashet you know the options are uh, are multiple so yeah that's on the on the metrics and also the uh, part of the um, there there's a there's a new uh, option uh, on the CLI of MI so it's called metrics it's a uh, it's it's under abbreviation of M and essentially when when you launch uh, uh, the MI with with this option the uh, the core computation is done and it's uh, it's stored under the metrics uh, uh, directory and under the uh, repository name. So I can look at the issue score, and this is basically the prediction of of the let's say the future week of the, of the in in issue case of the median time to close an issue. And this is just the uh, difference between the last known uh, metric of the pull request. So this is the differentiation. Uh, this is a um, uh, you you have a uh, last no metric, so so the last issue that was closed, and you calculated uh, uh, time to close an issue for for that issue, or let's say median time to close an issue for that issue, and you're subtracting that by the prediction that uh, the MI did. So if you have a if you have a, a, a positive Number change, it's it's a good sign for you because you're improving. And I, and on the other hand, if you have a negative uh, float number, you you're it means that something is wrong, that some something is slowing your process on uh, in in your repository. So you you have you have also um, the the pull request metric scores. 
metric scores. So, and this is really, I think, the essential uh, idea because you you can you can base your observation, you can base your predictions on observations. So that some human looks at the data and and you can say that oh the curve is uh, is uh, not doing fine, it's increasing or etc. But in means of automation, this is more important because you can actually you know uh, have a some some computer have, have some model to tell that for you. So this will be also part of the uh, SLI SLO indicators. Any questions? Are, are you including uh, both bots and human open PRs uh, in the data set, or just uh, ones opened by people? Yes. Um, the in the in the general one, uh, I I'm planning to add an option to exclude the bots because yeah, why would you? Want to have a bots in your metrics, but in the Kibeshed one, it's only bots or yeah, uh, human work on the bots that were that were made by the on the issues or pull requests that were made by the bots. But yeah, currently uh, everything is counted in in the general metrics. Um, do you think we can use that for? Um flagging or labeling a pull request that might take very long and therefore needs a little bit of um, human love rather than robot love? Uh, yes, of course. Uh, but that would be based on, you know, uh, on the time that pull request was alive. So. You, you, you would you could look at the data and say um, that's some you know uh, that's some really big outlier here. So why is that? So oh. it could, yeah. Okay. Cool. Any any other questions? What about the other topics like MI scheduler? Yes. Can I do it do it now here, or should we make another oh. cut? We're gonna create a cut. So no yes. other questions. Cool. Thanks, Dominic, for this one. The meta information metrics.